Good Saturday morning and welcome to another edition of the award-winning Outdoors with Larry Ray. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency. Now, here's your host, Larry Ray. Hey, good Saturday morning and welcome to Outdoors with Larry Ray. We talk outdoors for the next 90 minutes, what we call the fastest 90 minutes on outdoor radio programming. As we roll into our 23rd year on the air, uh, right here out of AM 790 in Memphis. And, of course, good good folks out there in Brownsville, 1520 AM and 95.3 FM. And, of course, you good folks in Jackson, Tennessee at News Talk 101.5. We're going to spend the first 30 minutes of today's show. A little turkey talk and other things like that. Got one guy in the studio. The other guy, he, he may be looking at y'all out there, so you better really, better really be careful this morning because uh, I don't know where Andy Tweed is this morning. But he could be right behind you someplace. I don't know. Um, you're not going to tell us where your destination is uh, for this opening day of turkey season. No, no that, that's going to remain ambiguous. Ambiguous. Golly, Andy. No wonder you – let's, let's say that one more time. That's the biggest word I think. Well, that, that's eight years of college crammed into four. So that, there you that's go. exactly right. I like my freshman year so much I took it twice. Okay. <laughs> But we have a young man in the studio with us. I'm I'm excited to see him. Uh, know that uh, he's uh, living a life that's uh, pretty cool, uh, t- hunting turkeys in Hawaii. Yes, sir. Good morning, Mr. Larry. That's it's good, John it's David good to finally Santee. see your face again. <laughs> it is good to see you. And uh, we'll have to talk to John David about his trip to Hawaii. Absolutely. It looked like it was a pretty good trip. And a little bit about uh, what's going on with you in these first two segments of the show. And so I've got the... I've got the wildlife officer from our region uh, in year number, what is this now? Uh, Andy Tweed, what is this? Uh, year number uh, 30 years. 30 years. I'm just touching 28. So He's not, a, he, he wasn't born when you started. Uh, how, how does that make you feel? Okay. Man, I mean, <laughs> pretty rough. Yeah. Well, let, let's talk uh, as we talk outdoors here on Outdoors with Larry Ray. Uh, we got the young guy, we got the veteran, then we got the old old man here. That, um, the mediator. The mediator, that's right. Man, ambiguous and mediator, all in the same segment here. That's pretty good words for my audience out there. But uh, uh, I'm I'm excited. I, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to be out there today or not, but uh, I, I, I haven't made a decision. But, Andy, uh, looks like we've uh, got some weather moving in uh, tonight and things along that line. So um, what have you been seeing driving around Shelby County? A lot of folks out. Everybody's been chomping at the bit. A lot of folks uh, a little upset that we didn't start season <laughs> yes. April first or yes. whatever. But, yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And, hey, I'm I'm still seeing quite a few birds around, and a lot of them don't have hens with them. So I think we're going to have a pretty good pretty good week opener. Yeah, we we talked a lot about that on last week's show with uh, Roger Shields. We had the Turkey Man on, and of course we had the Turkey Man in the studio, Steve Turpin. And uh, yep. Steve was asking the serious questions. I was trying to get the interpretation of what he, both of them said. But I understand that the young sportsman's hunt uh, went well last weekend, Andy. I'm hearing good reports yep. on that, too. Oh, yeah, big success, big success. Uh, you know, my partner in the county here, Jeff Peach, his little boy killed one. Yes, I heard that, yeah, yeah. So, you know, congratulations to him and, and, and all the youngsters that did real well this week past weekend so talk to us as john david listens in on this andy about uh what you guys look for i mean uh i know you, you know people think oh here comes a game warden we're in trouble really you're doing your job so uh the things that i'm no I'm, I'm sure uh there are certain things that uh, you've been out and about and looking around and things along that line but uh uh baiting or whatever it might be and and like you mentioned we're two weeks later than normal uh, so, yep. so that that puts everybody on edge a little bit. But um, what what do you think is going to be happening uh, this weekend? Well, I think we're going to have a lot of birds killed, and also, you know, when we're out looking, we're making sure that nobody's trespassing, and that everybody's got their license and that they've tagged their bird. You know, we got it the tag before you drag. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So and- we've lowered we've lowered the limit down, so there's no no middle ground anymore. <laughs> of well, you know. <laughs> I didn't think about tagging it, or I was all excited. No, the minute you shoot it, you make sure it's dead. Yes. Get your phone out and tag it, or get you a physical tag and put on the bird. 
And you got to watch out now. It's a bag limit of what, Andy? Two, right? Two birds. Two, Two birds. birds. Only one can be a Jake, right? Yep. yep. And so you got to know the difference between Jake and uh, <laughs> and 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 the big boys. That's right. That's so, right. So and, and really, folks, I don't know what. Okay, John David, what's a normal shooting distance for you? What would, what what do you try to? Well, I hunt with a 20 gauge, so I keep it under 40 yards. That's just kind of my. So you my should be able there. to tell Absolutely. if this is a young bird or not. Definitely. Yeah, and and, oh, yeah. and that's that's part of the deal here, uh, Andy. Is I know that uh, we're the birthplace of uh, turkey hunting in the in 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 Tennessee, uh, because you know it all started at Shelby Forest. Not when you were there or me were there. Maybe it was I was there when they were we, we were trapping birds. And yep. we were sending them to Middle Tennessee. Now we need to send them back home. Uh, send them, <laughs> send them back over here. But uh, the evolution of this thing uh, uh, with the two bird limit, I guess that's one of those things you guys are going to have to look out for too, right? I mean, uh, yeah. And it's you know, and it's pretty much statewide that the population has been going in decline. Yeah. With the exception of a few counties in East Tennessee, and they seem to be holding their own pretty well. But that's probably birds that came from here too. I don't know. I mean, uh, I, I mean, couldn't tell you either that or they came from LBL, one of the other one, one of the other ones. Yeah, yeah. And, and basically, I don't, Shelby, Shelby County basically stocked the majority of Tennessee. Yeah, well, I know that, and that's where it's come from. Again, we're talking to Andy Tweed, our wildlife officer um, from Shelby County here, uh, thirty years, and John David, a uh, young man from Christian Brothers and Ole Miss, and uh, uh, you. you I really want to talk on that second segment about your trip to Hawaii. Absolutely. But I tell our listeners what, what you've been doing. You had not been home very long. So tell us what, what, what I haven't been home what's been long. happening to you. I want you to tell them. So um, I originally moved out to uh, Idaho after I graduated college. Where in Idaho? Uh, Teton Valley, Idaho, to be specific. Oh, the so old uh, ugly place out there. It's it's really ugly. Oh, right it's really right ugly. Right now, it's, it's pretty ugly. At it's, the moment, there's a lot of snow out there, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I can't even get in my driveway. You can't. All can't. right. So um, I moved out there uh, shortly after uh, I graduated from college and uh, guided fly fishing uh, for about four years out there. And um, since then, I've taken a role uh, working with an agricultural technology company. Yeah. And, uh, you know, working with farmers kind of all over the country mm-hmm. and um, gives me the ability to, uh, you know, work remotely and, and kind of work from wherever. So. I've decided to uh, call Idaho home for the last, you know, few years. Yes, yeah. I'm fortunate enough to be able to come back home and uh, get out of the snow and see my family and um, chase some turkeys around here. We've uh, got off to a hot start since I've been home already, so it's it's we're looking forward to uh, the next few days for sure. Well, I, I know uh, uh, listening to John David talk and, and, and know his passion for the outdoors and everything, and I I know Andy's passion is also getting kids involved, and uh, and to see this young man here uh, talking about conservation and things along that line, Andy. Uh, uh, we need that that young sportsman's weekend last weekend. I I I, I it's I, I, Arkansas boy they broke the records over there. I mean they just blew them out in Arkansas, which is very strange because Arkansas's turkey population has been kind of up and down and everything like that. But uh, to hear what you said, Andy, uh, that we're, success is what it's about. But in turkey hunting, you got to have patience. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's, it's not like catching that first little bluegill and say, oh, this is fun. you got to have patience. And, uh, and to see young people do that and the pictures floating out there, uh, you know. And the youth hunt just gives – Gives the young and such a such a good jump start on uh, getting to those turkeys before the rest of us, and and really having a good opportunity to uh, to get into some action. I know those are some of my uh, most vivid memories as a youngster growing up here. You know, we were fortunate enough to have Mississippi, Arkansas, and Tennessee yes. all having their youth seasons. And um, you know, as a youngster, um, you what know, was we, your? How old were you when you killed your first turkey? Five. Say that one more time. Five years old. Five years. Did you hear that, Andy? I mean, uh, crazy. <laughs> you're ruined. You're oh, ruined. I was at, ruined early. You're ruined can, early, killing one at five years old. Uh, so what's can, what's the closest you've killed one? Ooh. Ten, ten yards. Have you killed one 20 yards? What is it? 
I haven't killed. I had a hand step on my foot one time. You had a hand step on your foot one yeah. time. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It wasn't Andy, was it? I mean, sneaking up <laughs> behind you or anything like that. No. I hope not. No, 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 no. But you heard the results from last weekend. Did that surprise you, Andy, that we had a successful uh, youth hunt? No, because the birds are red hot right now. They're Ooh. red hot. Oh, oh. Yeah, just from talking to some friends and family, you know, since I've been home, um, you know, there's been a lot of reports of people seeing seeing turkeys in places that they haven't seen turkeys in years. And, that um, you know, they're getting out and doing their thing. And um, hopefully in the next few springs we're going to really see some rewards from it. Well, I, I know where I deer hunt, and I'm not going to tell everybody, but I actually saw 20 <laughs> during the deer season that I haven't seen before. They're no, normally in the bottoms, a lot of them. Uh, but that's fired me up enough that uh, that I may be out there today. If I'm not, uh, it'll be uh, the week after that. Uh, uh, take my 12 gauge, uh, my my 20 gauge is in in the sh- shop. It's being it's being worked on right now. But uh, uh, to do that, but you'll be out and about, Andy. You guys uh, kind of just what uh, if, if anybody needs help or anything like that, you guys will be out just uh, checking things and making sure everything run, runs right, right? Oh, yeah, and, you know, we'll be out and about around Shelby Forest. You know, the WMA is opening up today. Yes, yes. So, you know, it's going to be a lot of folks on the WMA. I think it's going to be a little crowded, but that's part of it. And they got a big, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the Spring Fest is going on out at uh, Shelby Park. I mean, Shelby uh, Forest, if I'm not mistaken. I think there's something going on out there today, too. With yeah, a, they got a ton of stuff going. Yeah, they got a ton of stuff going. Well, we're going to take a break and come right back. I knew, Andy, I got my new Tennessee wildlife fishing regulations in the mail. Um, I did. Yeah, save the late, don't dump bait. And uh, it. it kind of it threw me for a loop, this little thing. But I kind of like the size of it. And I guess you folks out there, if you uh, uh, got yours in the mail also with the fi- fishing regulations, I hadn't looked through it to see, but I was pretty cool about it. So, you guys hang on. We're going to come right back. Andy Tweed on the line. He, he is the uh, wildlife officer of Shelby County here for uh, 30 years. We've got John David Santee in here. We've got Shelby McCall taking care of us. This is Larry Ray reminding you that we love to talk outdoors on Outdoors with Larry Ray. Be, be right back. Be right back. 